The After Image Strike. This is the ability that will help you, the viewer, climb out of the lowly depths in the D ranks. The After Image Strike allows you to dodge every melee attack for 15 seconds. This ability is sensational! Now some people may be coming from my previous video where I spoke about the after image strike, however I have been getting cooked to hell about that video because apparently I, I didn't explain it well enough. So this is a follow up video about that video. To be honest I didn't think I needed to but I understand that this game is new and you sort of have to walk through the steps first. So. The After Image Strike. It is a skill ability that you can see at the bottom left corner of your screen. As I said earlier, allows you to dodge every single melee attack that comes your way. A kick, dodged. A punch, dodged. A headbutt, dodged. Everything is dodged. Its only weakness is that you cannot dodge any key blasts. You have to do that manually. This skill move requires three skill bars. As you can see at the top left corner, that curved arc thing you see there are your skill bars alongside the number. And you need three of those to perform an after image strike. As you can see, as I used it, the bar went down. Now I'm going to actually demonstrate it in action to you. Every single time this Vegeta tries to hit me, it dodges it. He can't do a single attack on me with the after image strike. My hands are literally off the controller. I don't need to do anything with this ability activated. I'm, I'm going to show you again. As you can see, key blasts still work, but nothing else works. He is trying to hit me, but he can't. I can be clapping right now and still dodge his attacks. And that is why I believe that the after image strike is the ability that will help everybody be able to get out of the D ranks early on in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. Now obviously when you climb out of the D ranks you're going to have to play a bit smarter but this ability is a lifesaver. There's so much you have to do in this game. The after image strike pretty much takes one of that responsibility off of your hands and the responsibility I'm talking about is the Z vanishing. You don't need to worry about Z vanishing when this ability is activated. Now I have to clarify that I am talking about after image strike, not after image. That is something completely different. The difference between the two is that after image, when activated, allows you to dodge a single melee attack. Whereas after image strike lets you dodge every melee attack for the next 15 seconds. There is a huge difference there. The after image strike is clearly superior. And now that I've gotten that out of the way, I'm going to try my best to prove it online. But before we do that, I just want to give a quick disclaimer that this is not a tips and tricks channel, so please do not subscribe if you're expecting anything like that. However, if you're a general enjoyer of Dragon Ball Sparking Zero content, feel free to click the button. Let's get to the battlefield. And the character I'm going to use to prove that after image strike is an amazing ability is Kid Goku. I was really thinking about using Videl, but the difference between them is that Goku starts off with, with two skill bars which is pretty much very easy to allow you to activate the after image strike a lot faster but right now I've got to rely on my own Z vanishes which I'm not very good at right now okay cool 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 it's, I've got enough I've got enough and now this man's in danger Gogeta you're in danger sir look at that he actually cannot touch oh he grabbed me he might know a little bit of a workaround oh no and he destroyed the stage too I have never actually seen the stage transition, but he actually missed me. That's crazy. I thought this man hit me, but apparently not. Don't try to do that. Oh, no, no, no. Don't you know I have my ability activated, sir? You can't be trying to hit me with this silly blast. Okay, and again. Look at that. I'm mindlessly mashing and this man can't hit me. Guys, this is the perfect ability, especially for trying to climb up in this game early on. Because... The way I found this is that I was not very good at Z vanishing, so I switched to something like this while I still practice and get better with it. And now this man has got sparking mode activated, but I need to be careful about that. Oh no, I wish there was a way. No, wait, 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 wait. God's sake, I wish there was a way to Z vanish without actually doing an attack afterwards. Guys, if there's a way to do that, please let me know because every time I Z-Vanish, I'm always doing an attack afterwards. Anyways, give me my rematch. Oh my god. Of course he declines. He knows I would ferociously fist him with my power pole. Okay, let's try to win this time. Be a bit more calm and collected and... I, whoa, it's the same person, just a different map. <laughs> he really thought he could run away. It's time to get my revenge. No, 
No deflecting. Get that. And no charging either. Don't try to charge, bro. Don't try to charge. Just... Oh, I did not mean to do that. But hey, you know what? It helped me get closer to him, so I cannot complain about that. And my after image is activated. So you're in danger, Gogeta. Alright? You can be in the air, but I'm not scared. No, sir. Ah, ah. Mm. Nope. Now, I'm gonna need you to wait for me while my skill bar activates. Oh, no. Nope, too late. He really thought he could get me in time. No, sir. Okay. I actually need to play with a bit more diligence now and get him on the ground because I really don't like flying with Kid Goku. Ah, ah. Ah. Oh, no, sir. One more time. Back on the ground. Okay. Please tell me I can get him there. Wow, my attack missed? I thought I would be able to get him while he's charging his key. Oh no, and he's swaying me. He's swaying me. Alright. No, no, no. What is that? Don't even try that, bro. He is trying his best to activate his ability. Nope. He's got his sparking activated though, so I have to be real careful about that. But, hey, wait. For some reason, I couldn't activate my sparking there. But I've got the after image frenzy. No, sir. Okay. Oh no, it's it's gone. It's gone. I have to rely on D-Vanishing. Okay. But he does not want me to go sparking. After image strike. Yes, sir. Alright. Forget the sparking. I just need to actually destroy this man because I lied. I freaking lied. Now I lost to this guy because I don't use Kid Goku, but hey, if I was on Videl, I would have obliterated him. Hold on. Oh god, this is way too close. Okay. Woo! Boom! Phenomenal! Woo! And there the ability goes coming in clutch again. I was tapping the hell out of my R1 button, which you're not supposed to do if you want to Z-Vanish properly. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like if you did, and now I shall ride off into the sunset with Goku.